wanted to take a quick moment and talk about the mapping and GPS capabilities that we've included in FM Starting Point. In newer versions of FM Starting Point, we've included this tab here in the desktop version of FM Starting Point and over here in the iPad version of FM Starting Point. These tabs both work in a similar fashion. I can click Map tab here and the found set of records that I've been using will be preserved down here and it will map those records on screen here. Now there's a status field that we built into FM Starting Point which is either active or inactive. Now you can work to customize this yourself. So if you go back to contact details you can see that we have this active or inactive flag right here. I can go back to maps right here and you can see I just changed this flag right here. So inactive records are indicated with a red icon. I can go ahead and zoom in right here and continue to zoom and the mapping is courtesy of Google Maps. This is a web viewer and this is dynamic. I can continue to zoom down here and get more in-depth detail mapping. Now once again the icons that are on screen are regulated by the found set that's displayed down here. Now it's important that there's a preference setting that's available right here. This preference pop-up window is the same preference section that's available actually in the preferences area elsewhere in FM Starting Point. This tells us the type of map you're going to see by default, the zoom level, and the maximum number of records that the map is going to display from the found set. So here you can see that we have 23 records in the found set. This map is only going to initially display 15 of those records. So you can change this if you want. You can have it display all 23 or by default you can have it display all 50. It's no big deal. Also the icons that we use are customized. and You can click in here and change to more of a default Google icon if you want. Now something else important to note that this function right here is what generates the GPS coordinates for each of these customers as you input them into FM Starting Point. And what I mean by that is that if you're over here in contact details and you input this address right here, as you tab out of this address information, FileMaker saves this information automatically in the database. But more importantly, as soon as FileMaker sees that information saved, it's going to go to Google automatically in the background and determine what the latitude and longitude of this address is. It's going to save it right here. Now these fields don't have to be on the screen here, but we simply displayed them here so you can see that this is actually working in the background. If you want to remove them, that's fine. That won't impair the functionality of the database at all, but we've put them here so you can see that they're working. Now keep in mind as you do this, there's about a quarter second of overhead as FileMaker is going to ping Google to bring back this GPS information. Now if you have a really slow internet connection, this delay might be a second or two as you add this address information or we edit this information. So just keep that in mind. If this delay becomes intolerable, you may want to go into Maps, into Preferences, and turn this off. Now if you turn it off, then FileMaker is no longer going to look up the GPS coordinates for these addresses and they'll no longer map. So just keep that in mind. Also you can see that we have the Latin Long displayed right here. Also keep in mind if you have an address here and no Latin Long is displayed here, that address will not appear on the map. Google Maps does not actually work based upon the address. Google Maps translates addresses to a Latin Long coordinate system and those Latin Long coordinates are then mapped onto the actual map itself. That's how it actually works. Now to show you real quick, I'm going to jump over here to the iPad real quick and I'm going to show you how this works. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Maps icon so you can see that Google is mapping these records. What's cool is that I can use my fingers to pinch and zoom without using the mouse. I can drag the screen around and it's much more fluid. It's much more usable. In fact, on a retina display, this is very readable and very slick. So I can drill down and see the locations of these contacts much more easily. It's much easier to use and much more interactive on a mobile device with a touch screen. I really enjoy it. Now what's cool about this is we've added the extra capabilities here on the left where I can press the Get Directions function. Because I'm on a mobile device here, the mobile device has GPS built in. 
it knows where it's located. So I can press this button right here. I'm going to press the bottom one of the three here. FileMaker is going to pass off to Google the request to get driving directions. The driving directions here to Laurelwood Road are 0.7 miles and it'll take us three minutes. Now of course this is a very simple drive for us, but if we had a more complicated trip, this could be much handier. So once again, driving directions and even maps are all available right here. This is pretty slick technology. This brings the modern mapping and GPS technology directly into FileMaker in a really applicable way. It brings it into a free and very powerful starter solution. So feel free to use this and customize it and email us if you have any questions. Of course, there's always ways to improve this. So if you make improvements to this and you think we ought to incorporate it in FM Starting Point, feel free to drop us an email and tell us what you did.